we got to the gym. I already started the workout, but I forgot to do my intro. So we're just doing this cardio circuit to warm up the legs because we're going to go out and hit some weights. And we're doing two types of these um, hip um, workouts. So I'm dead and it's just the second set. So we're doing three sets of each. Oh, and then 10 reps of each exercise. Okay guys, so to begin this circuit, we're just starting off with some lunge hops on each side and as you can tell like by us, it's pretty hard like keeping the balance once you like come back down but it is a freaking good exercise, it like burns the glutes um, but yeah, so go ahead and do 10 on each side if you want, you can add the little hop in there or if not, you can just go ahead and kick up depending on how you feel the most comfortable the important thing is to try to get the right form in and I like to go really slow in the exercises to ensure that I'm doing it right. So right here, we're just going to do some hop squats on the little step up. Uh, we're just going to use the board. We're not adding any like extra height to it or anything. So for this one, we had done this, I think, the week prior. And we noticed that if you do every movement more slower, you go ahead and hit everything like perfectly. And you do like the correct form. It just works 10 times better. So don't like be afraid and try to like rush it or anything just go ahead and do everything slow and then we're gonna do these jack squats was well, like a burpee into a jack squat for these you're just gonna want to go ahead and go down into a burpee when you're gonna come up you're gonna come up into a jack squat so for these you want a wide stance or else it's not gonna work it's not gonna, you're not gonna jump up correctly that's what I'm trying to say because um, I was doing this wrong the first time like I would hop but my hop wouldn't be as wide as it is and I just wouldn't come up like correctly the form just wasn't there so remember do slow and control movements a burpee so one two and then come up into the hop squat I mean the jack squat <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the toe taps for this you're gonna want to do 20 reps just because it moves faster and it makes you sweat more these are pretty fast and pretty easy actually so there's not much explanation to these just go ahead and hit um on each leg and then we're gonna move to these side to sides um i really don't know what exactly what it's called but yeah so one foot at a time you're just hopping to the middle and these really 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 burn you out So for this next one, it's a burpee with the step. It's kind of like the jack squat. So you're doing the same movement right here. So you go one, two, and then instead of hopping into the jack squat, we're just gonna go ahead and hop on the step, hop back and repeat the same movements. Once we're done with our little cardio and leg circuit, we're just gonna move on to some Smith Machine squats. So for this, I went ahead and grabbed a dumbbell and I'm not exactly touching it, but from the mirror, I can see like where exactly I need to stop. So this just helps my um, like posture, my form, and it makes sure that I am going as low as possible to get those boot gains. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give some tips because I tried to film this but I was out of breath. So the first thing we do when we're doing squats is we put a dumbbell on our feet because it's in the mirror. So you're not necessarily hitting it. You're just from the mirror, you can see it. And you kind of go down to where you see the dumbbell and you come back up. You could touch it if you want, but it's just weird for me. And I also do like a little marker that helps you just get an expo marker and then do something where it's just straight to when you're squatting. So that way you're your alignment of your back isn't being messed up when you go two up or two down and those are just some tips <laughs> Hurts. And this one, I used to do it like this, but that's not good for me. 
fully extended, so you have to go to like your shoulder blades. Go stretch out, don't go too far. And then kind of shoulder width apart and then go down. And then come back straight and squeeze your glutes. And you're just gonna go ahead and repeat that. I did 15 minutes. So like I was saying, for the hip thrust, you want to go ahead and make sure you're at a shoulder width like stance. Um, not too far. I feel like I could have brought my legs a little bit more in, but I actually feel like this is the com most comfortable way I can possibly perform this movement without doing it like super wrong. So remember shoulder blades on the bench. For this next one, we're going to move on back to the Smith machine and we're going to do some step ups and I added a resistant band just above the knees to make sure that I am going like not too far with the lunge and just to add that extra resistance to make the booty grow because it just intensifies this workout. You can also do it without the resistant band, just make sure not to put your leg too far out. And for this movement, it was kind of hard to also explain to my friends. The best way I can describe it is make sure the foot that is on the dumbbell or step up whatever you want to choose is the one that is bringing you up because this is isolating your glutes so by not using on the, the ground foot that, that is the key is make sure to have all the weight to the foot that is on the dumbbell next we're going to go ahead and move on to the side like side to side with the resistant band and these kill so while somebody is doing the step up somebody will be doing this um you're also going to have time to do some jump squats so we're just gonna do those two movements and then go back to the step ups so we're done with the workout today we focus on cardio and glutes the last few exercises I did was glute isolation so it's really really tiring and then today I meal prep so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and yeah so we just got at the gym and we're super tired, I'm super red. And I brought my friend, so she's gonna just say what she um, felt about the workout. So we did glute isolations and then um, some cardio, some hit cardio workouts. So what do you think? Um, I think it was really good. My legs hurt a lot. And <laughs> Are you gonna continue to come with us? Yes, if you guys will have me. Of course. You guys need to distract me from my lemon legs. <laughs> She said that when we called her, she was about to sit down and eat lemon leaves. So oh, we saved another one. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so I was in a meal prep when I get home, so I'll probably film that. Bye, guys. Let's go. Okay, so for my meal prep, I'm going to go ahead and add some crushed red peppers to my pasta just to add some flavor and then. I had already made this before I went to go work out, so once I came back, I just wanted to season it. And once I have that in, I'm just going to go ahead and stir. The next thing I'm going to add is some salt, and after that, I'm just going to go ahead and stir as well. The final thing I'm going to go ahead and add is just some cheese and have that melt inside. So I just add a little bit and then I go ahead and stir and then I add again and I do this three times. I don't want to overwhelm it with cheese but I do want to add some flavor. Once I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and add it to my containers and evenly spread it out. I added two scoops to each container and tomorrow I'm gonna go and ahead and add the chicken just because I like to do it more fresh and this is already gonna be stored. So there's that. For my side, I just decided to add some salad to it. And like I said, I just kind of eyeball it and even make sure everything is even. And this is how it looks at the end. Like I said, I just need to add some chicken tomorrow for my snacks. I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare that too. I like to take these to work. So I just go ahead and cut some strawberries. Like I said, I just kind of eyeball it, make sure everything is evened out. And then I go ahead and add some grapes. And I also like to add some pecans to it, but I don't uh, go ahead and like top it off just because I refrigerate these and I like to eat the pecans fresh. 
So when I need them, I just put them in the little baggie and take them. Um, what I ate was the pasta and I just added egg for some extra protein with some OJ. Hey guys, so I just got done with the gym. I went to run some errands and I also ate some food. Gym, I went to run some errands and I also ate some food already. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys what I did get. I went to Walmart um, to get some stuff and also I needed some new pre-workout. And I decided to try this new thing and just because they're so limited, I bought like whatever was there and um, I was also gonna say that um, me and my friend, her friend, my, her boyfriend works at the GNC so we're gonna be going there soon and try to get some information on certain supplements that we want to try too so yeah if you guys are staying tuned with like my journey in this I'll like go ahead and explain like the types of supplements I've had and like you know if I like them or not I recommend if you guys are interested in a video like that. But yeah, I bought a jump rope as well, and just because I want to do different, I love doing different types of cardio. I hate doing just the treadmill at the gym, like I just don't like it. I feel like I love running outside, like you know, so it's just really boring for me. So that's why I always do like ellipticals or bicycles or different types like of circuits to hit, do the cardio. So I just wanted to implement that as well. I also went and bought the BCAAs um, just because I feel like I need help with like recovery just because I'm always tired and um, this is supposed to be for that and I just got the generic brand. It's just the Equate <laughs> post workout and it's in the color, um, the color, the flavor fruit punch. So here is that. And then I went and switched it up. Like I said, my um, pre-workout, I went to go get this just because I've seen this when I used to work at the gym like I would see people pull this out their bag so hopefully it's good it's the six star and it's also in the uh, flavored fruit punch and this one has a little bit more than the C4 and it's also like five dollars cheaper um, this has 33 servings as the C4 has 30 servings and the C4 that I get is 20 bucks I know there's a little bit more expensive ones for C4 there's some that are like between I guess 20 to 30 ish 30 40 dollars but um, the one I get is 20 bucks and then this one was 14 so yeah I'll go ahead and notify you and once I take it let's see if it even tastes good cross my fingers and both the yeah, fruit punch just because I'm really picky with like what I like um, but yeah other than that thank you guys so much for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below and yeah bye guys